This program is brought to you by Silverado Public Television and is a California's Beard Classic. There is a story behind two large rocks, which sit in the courtyard of Bowers Museum. Most visitors to the museum hardly notice the mysterious artifacts, because they fit into the landscaping as if they are purely ornamental. But, if you take the time to read the tiny interpretive signs, you will find that these rocks were removed from the Santa Ana Mountains and are believed to have Native American significance. Here in the courtyard of Bowers Museum, and we're going to see if we can find the Bell Rock and the Maze Stone. Follow me. Here it is. On May 27, 1936, this seven-ton rock was moved to the patio of Bowers Museum. This was with the cooperation of Nat H. Neff, then head of the County Road Department. Look underneath. You can see it has a curved underside, almost shaped like a bell. So if we look over the surface of the bell rock, you can see there are these uh, shallow depressions here this one being the deepest, and we can imagine that maybe this is how they made the bell ring. You could even see there's more over there. So if you had a rock like this, it would fit into the hole. See? Over here, hidden under this mature cactus is the maize stone. Follow me. They happen to have a label here. You can see the stone is com almost completely overgrown with plants surrounding it. And you can barely see the carvings in the rock. In July 1935, the granite maize stone, weighing over six and a half tons, was removed to the Bowers Museum grounds. Today, we are going to investigate where the Bell Rock and Maze Stone were originally located. In Terry Stevenson's Shadows of Old Saddleback, you'll find a chapter entitled Cañada de la Campana, or Canyon of the Bell. In a boulder-strewn hillock covered over with oaks is the Bell Rock, Around this granite boulder, native Indians gathered in ancient times. With stone pestles, they pounded upon it, and the canyon rang with the clear tones of this primitive bell. Hey Pete, how's it going? Good to see you. Nice to see you. Glad you came out. Uh, thanks for having us here. So we're here to investigate the mystery of the bell rock and the maize stone. Okay. But um, uh, before we get ahead of ourselves, I just wanted you to introduce yourself. So. Oh, okay. Um, I'm Pete DeSimone. I work for Audubon California, which is a state office of the National Audubon Society. And I'm the manager of Star Ranch, which is a 4,000 acre um, Audubon sanctuary that we've had now. This is our 40th year. Oh, wow. And uh, Sandy, um, my wife Sandy, uh, directs all the research and education here. And together we've been here um, getting on 28 years. 
and what goes on here, it's, uh, it's part of a 10,000 acre ranch that um, Eugene and Applin Star ha had, and we're in the middle 4,000 acres, and Sandy's developed a bunch of education programs for kids and adults, and she does habitat restoration here on some of the areas that have been impacted by invasive plants, and um, I'm kind of the nuts and bolts guy, and, and fundraiser, and I do off-sanctuary conservation work trying to preserve other open spaces because there's not much left in Southern California. Wow, well, we really appreciate <coughs> what you're doing here, and thank mm. you so much for sure. allowing us to investigate this mystery on mm. such a beautiful uh, piece of land that has such a such a rich history, yeah. um, both natural and cultural. Yeah, so. Bell Canyon is pretty special. As time goes by, there's not a lot of major canyons like this left, and it's Cleveland National Forest, us, and Casper's Park is all Bell Canyon, so it's really well protected. So we're fortunate to be part of it. Well, the suspicion is that there's this knoll right this way where the uh, Bell Rock occurred originally um, uh, when the Native Americans were here. And so we're going to see if we could find that exact spot right now. Yeah. So Good go. Let's go, go for it. Good luck. See you. Thank you, Pete. Terry Stevenson writes, Treasure hunters have partially destroyed the tone of the bell rock. Up to a few years ago, the rock stood with one edge against another granite boulder. Its base rested upon other boulders. At no point did it touch the earth. In shape, the boulder is about like the palm of one's hand, being some seven feet long by three and a half feet across. Come on. I think this is it. I think this is where the Bell Rock stood for thousands, probably millions of years. And the, the local tribe, they probably rang this bell and it could be heard for miles around. We are in the exact spot. This is so exciting. <laughs> oh, yes. Bonus, desert wild grape fruiting right now. Mmm. Mmm. Here you go. Between the wash that has been made by waters from the Old Road Canyon and Bell Canyon is a hillock or mound perhaps 30 feet high, viewed from the canyon bottom and 100 feet across. The Bell Rock is located on the west side of the mound and towards its top. Listen. Holding more in the way of conjecture is another boulder upon which are pitted crude figures and an intricate maze. This rock, located on a ridge between the Bell and the Lower Tribuco Canyons, may be the key to the story of prehistoric occupation of California. Old timers have named it the Indian Mystic Rock. So we're on the Bellevue Trail, and we're uh, hoping to line up the silhouettes of the ridge line in order to find the maze stone. Uh, but on the way, uh, it's, it's late summer, going into fall. We found. A uh, patch of vinegar weed. Straight away the sandy mat, kneeling down and breathing that vinegar weed. Mmm, one of the most potent plants around. Only comes up this time of year and nowhere else. So uh, there's a seasonal indicator right here vinegar weed. Mmm. I think we're at the spot. The silhouette of the ridge line matches up. It's 
Somebody has delineated stones right here, possibly to delineate where the maize stone used to occur. Okay, we have here a granite boulder, uh, smaller than the maize stone, but uh, probably the same uh, uh, mineral makeup. And um, this area matches up perfectly with our our photograph, our historic photograph here, so we may have actually found the spot. So I think we've actually made it to what I believe to be the exact spot. Uh, the Silhouette of the ridge line matches up to the historic photograph. We even have the yucca plant here. There are some uh, granite boulders um, surrounding me and uh, along the ridge line. And uh, the only thing that's missing is the maize stone, which is now is at Bowers Museum. And it may have actually occurred right where I'm standing.